Billy Rossini with Nakwa Adventure Gear. Here I'm going to show you a few tips about setting up your Spectrum P2 lighting system on a paddleboard. I have the system laid out below. I've spread it out, the light bars out, um, just about to the width of, of the board. You want to, you know, maybe an inch or so in from the edge, but trying to get the lights out. You can make this adjustment by just simply sliding the strap through the buckle, pulling as close as you can to the buckle, and there you can uh, place your light bars at the distance that uh, you want. So now I'll take a board and we'll go ahead, lay it right on top. Bring your straps around from the harness system. You go ahead and clip those together. Cinch it just slightly just snug is fine. Here we'll do the same in the front. Wires or the cables uh, for the light bars are always going to the front of the system so your battery is in front. Then the other part is I'll go ahead and cinch these tight. Now the key to getting the whole system tight and without putting too much pressure on the buckles as you're tightening the whole system is I'll slightly move the bars out where I want them. I'll go ahead, hold on to the bar and pull it tight on the back side pulling it right towards me. And then I'll repeat, do the same to the front. You'll see everything just tightened right up. My placing's pretty good. You can go ahead and do the same to the other side, flip the board over, pull your harness system straps tight. And it doesn't have to be super like over the top tight. You know, you want everything snug. Um, Putting the harness system as close to the board, your light bars are sitting nice and flat. Place it back down. Go ahead and connect your P2 switch. Align the arrows. Lock that in. Line the arrow on this side. Set that up. And then what I'll, I typically do is I'll take the battery, put it underneath this, the harness, the top part, and then tuck any wires or cables, uh, you know, that you want out of the way, and then you can just run the whole Velcro uh, strap right over the top, secure all of that, you can then take the battery, connect it, you'll get the green light when you're powered up, and then you're, you're ready to go with illumination. So, really easy. Biggest tips are holding onto that light bar as you're tightening everything. Not pulling on these cables uh, when you're connecting things or disconnecting it. Uh, you can definitely do some damage in here by like yanking on a cable to uh, disconnect. So it's good to just hold on to these, make sure all your, your connections are, you know, nice and simple. Um, we offer anti-corrosion preventative kit. So that helps with, uh, if you wanted to, say you're in a corrosive environment, and we offer a small little sacrificial adapter. So you'll go ahead and put some anti-corrosion gel right onto uh, your connector, put your uh, sacrificial connector on there, then when corrosion does build up over time, you can just remove and replace that adapter. Uh, makes it really easy, it helps extend the life of your battery. Uh, you can do the same with uh, your switches as well. You know, maintenance is a big part of, of just getting the, the most amount of time out of your system. You know, hopefully in tours, you're going to get a, a ton of tours before you have to replace any components. But uh, it's a real easy setup. When you go to take it apart, just unclip, pull your board off. You can rinse things out with a little bit of water. Try to get, you know, keep any debris out of the buckles or the, uh, the connectors. And uh, other than that, enjoy your system. Have a great day.